Good morning, my name is Ryan Marquat. I'm one of the assistant professionals here at Coda de Casa. We are over here at one of the green side bunkers. I'm just gonna talk and go over with how to enter the bunkers and try to do some shots out of the bunkers as well. Uh, one of the main thing is you wanna look and make sure you go in at the lowest point. So right here would be the lowest point of the bunker. You never wanna go over on the top. And I have Mr. Rick Booth over here to show an example of why we don't go on the top side of the bunkers. That is prime example of why you don't go down the bunkers. So I'm gonna give a little examples of how to hit bunker shots. All right, so here we are in our green side bunker on 18 North. Uh, I've got one of the pros, Ryan Marquart, going to hit some shots for us. We're going to talk about some fundamentals on how we uh, approach hitting a greenside bunker shot, especially with this new sand. So first thing I think about, and I know Ryan does too, is we're trying to get a wide base. Okay, we're trying to get stability in a sand trap. So when we're thinking wide base, we're thinking legs probably slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Okay, and then also don't be afraid to dig in your feet slightly. We're trying to be stable in a bunker. It's easy to slide. We're, we're on top of sand. Okay, secondly, we have to have an open club face. Okay, and a lot of amateurs think that this is open. This is not open. Okay, we're trying to activate the bounce of the golf club underneath it. That's how you get a good shot out of, these, out of this new sand. So, guys and girls, open up that face as much as you can. Okay, Ryan will show you on this shot. Okay, hand position, usually kind of straight up the center line of his body. Very good. He's getting very low because we are going to go underneath this golf ball. Okay, so set up your body so that you're enabling that to happen. So once the setup's good and you're feeling comfortable, we're trying to keep, keep our speed through the sand. That's one of the main misses for amateur golfers is they like to swing into the ball and not so much through the ball. Okay, Ryan's been a golfer for a long time, so he knows that, and let's see what he's got. Great, great shot. So here's a demonstration of how to properly rake and maintain our bunker. Notice how Ryan exits the bunker from the low side again. He hits off his cleats, a bunch of sand falls off. If he didn't hit off those cleats, that sand would end up all over the putting green, which we're trying to avoid. Okay, he kind of backtracks through the sand where he already stepped, okay, to try to limit more mess. Okay, and again, now he is going through and smoothing out as much as he can all those footprints that he created. With light pressure, it does not have to be firm pressure. The firmer, the deeper the grooves of the rake, and then the harder the shot will be for the next player in line. So that was a perfect demonstration of how to maintain our bunkers here at Cota de Casa. Hi, my name is Rick Booth. I'm the director of golf here at Cota de Casa Golf and Racquet Club. And other issues we have here at Cota are ball marks. I'm gonna show you how to repair the ball mark. What you're seeing here is a ball mark that was not repaired properly. As you can see, it takes anywhere from seven to 10 days to repair. If you repair your ball marks properly, then you will not have this issue. It's only about a 24-hour process. So please, again, repair all your ball marks when you come to the green and repair them properly. This is the one I left with my wedge. Ball's right here. You always start from the high side of the ball mark and bring it in. Always bring it in. And then just tap it down. And it's repaired. The problem with most people do is they do it and they pull it up. As you pull it up, you're ripping the roots out. So you want to make sure that you're always going in. Bring the divot in. And once you do that, tap it down, make it nice and smooth. It takes about a day and a half and it's brand new. Thank you very much.